It could be the wave of the future in clean electricity, harnessing the power of the ocean. Jeffrey Schaub is here with exclusive details on a new plan for the California coast. Jeffrey. Dana, CBS 5 has learned that the state PUC is expected to take a critical step forward in the construction of giant wave energy power plants. The generators, as they're known, would be placed in the Pacific waters off of Fort Bragg in Mendocino County and Eureka in Humboldt County. The promise of new clean power, however, comes with controversy. The quaint coastal community of Fort Bragg, with its century-old buildings and shops, has become ground zero in a new battle over energy. Electricity created not by the sun or wind, but by ocean waves. It's the most benign way of generating electricity that there is. Benign, perhaps. PG&E and the federal government are studying the placement of giant wave generators like these off the coast of Fort Bragg and Eureka. We're told that what look like giant orange submarines strung together like sausages can generate enough power to light up thousands of homes. The Mendocino coastline is famous for its waves and for its currents. Although you probably wouldn't see these wave generators because they'll be located about three miles offshore. Charlie Bell is a Fort Bragg business owner involved in promoting wave energy. I'm in favor of any idea um, that has to do with generating electricity versus drilling. But there are many people in this town who oppose wave power plants offshore. Don Kowalski is one of them. This is a very eco-friendly environment. A lot of uh, uh, people who are pro-environment uh, and they don't want it out there either. Many locals will tell you they worry that the wave machines will disturb whales that migrate twice each year off the Mendocino coast. But next week we've learned the State Public Utilities Commission is likely to give PG&E grant money and testing rights so it can study putting wave generators along the north coast. There is 745 miles of coastline in California and the California Energy Commission estimates that wave energy generated off our coast could supply up to 23 percent of California's current electricity consumption needs. If wave energy does float in California, it's expected that private industry would foot the bill to build the offshore power plants. Now there is only one other place on earth where wave power is in operation and that is off the coast of Portugal.